this. This is the power of yes. You hear that cockerel? Okay, that means it's morning time. We're in trouble. I'm gonna let Morning Max handle this one. So if you guys will excuse me, I'm gonna go to bed. No, no. Oh. Whoa, Jesus. Um, I actually forgot I brought you guys home last night. So, uh, two, let me just get changed and I'll, I'll explain what's going on. Oh, oh Jesus. Um, Sorry about that guys, I'm not really used to bringing people home with me, so it kind of caught me by surprise. I'll explain a little bit about what's going on. Um, so last night I'm having my leaving drinks and it's raining here in Phuket and when it rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. Uh, and we were going to be going out to Patong, which if you don't know is, is kind of like Malia for Asia. So it's real sort of party central, a lot of people go there. Um, and a lot of me just didn't want to go because it was raining, I didn't have an umbrella, sounds stupid. I didn't really have any other way to get to this place other than to walk about 25 minutes. But I know from past experience, definitely in the last six months, that if I just say yes to things, a lot more stuff will actually happen. I create a lot more memories, I create better bonds with people, and I get good stories. And I do a lot of stuff just for the story. Um, so I did say yes, and in short, went out and had a good night. As you saw from this morning, it got a little bit messy, and I'm actually going to put up all the footage of Patong uh, at the end of this video. So. I haven't really watched that back yet, but that should be interesting. But that's just sort of on a short-term scale. That was me just saying yes last night. When I think back a little bit longer over the last six months and saying yes to Thailand, saying yes to vlogging, saying yes to this opportunity, and, and how it's ended me up with six months worth of great stories, new friends, and the fact that I'm just sitting here in this retreat that isn't even open yet. I'm literally here on my own. And if someone had told me that 12 months ago that this is where I'd be sitting, I would want to know how the hell I managed to do that and literally all I did was just say yes to a lot more things. So I'm going to keep this video nice and short simply because I think you'll probably rather see the footage from last night. But guys it's just a quick message to say every time an opportunity comes up and you don't want to do it because it's going to make you uncomfortable or you'd rather stay in, honestly next time just say yes, take a risk and see what happens. Thanks for watching. On my way to my leaving drink, food, meal, whatever you want to call it. It's raining. There's definitely some downsides to being in my current retreat, and that is I don't live at the previous retreat, which is where everyone else lives. And no one else is having to do this walk, but I do get the whole retreat to myself. So every cloud, and there's a lot of them at the moment. I made it to 7-Eleven. Now I'm early. So when you look at it outside, it would have been so easy to just stay in and not really do this. And to be honest, I was very close to doing it and then I remembered I actually have a coat. Um, but it just kind of illustrates the point that you only really get good stories, good memories and enjoy yourself when you say yes a lot of the time. It's really easy to say no and be comfortable, but I feel like no good story ever started with no. The amount of times I've said yes to stuff or done something just for the story and really, really been glad that I did massively outweighs the times that I've been glad I said no to something. I notice my face is getting a bit on the puppy stage again. I'm not sure why. I've been trying to like put my finger on the reason but I think it's the weather or the swelling. Honestly, no idea. Turn the bloody thing off. Abs Absolutely ridiculous. We've gone off about twenty, about twenty times. 
You got your guys a flux. There's not even anyone walking in and out. There's Ah, as soon as I started enjoying it. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. Do you know what? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Give it a sec. There it is. Anyway, my ride to trying to get me drunk. I said yes. Just say yeah. You don't always need to say yes though. Sometimes a no is definitely needed. I'm from the UK. I'm from the UK. Where are you from? <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. It's nice. Welcome. Welcome to the place. What's your name? Charlie. Give it up for Charlie everyone. Charlie on drums. Charlie on the drums as well. Charlie, give it up for Charlie on the drums. Brilliant, brilliant. I, th I think we can get more people in this place. Just say yes. It's upside down. Oh.